Stop Arguing for Your Limitations, posted on July 11, 2011. A negative thought gains more momentum when you defend it, argue for it, or believe in it. You don't gain anything from defending a negative thought in you. Rather, you just end up creating resistance to your own well-being. It's not uncommon to see people defending their negative thoughts and even looking for empathy from others to help reinforce their negative patterns. Anyone who wants to align with their joy and well-being would first need to let go of defending the negativity present in their life. Observe your mind and see if it's arguing for its limitations. If so, stop reinforcing this pattern in you. Negativity does not deserve your attention. A lot of people defend their right to think negatively by stating that doing otherwise is living in denial. But if you focus on negative thinking, all you serve to do is perpetuate the very condition you're focused on. No real solution can come forth when you move from a place of fear. If you see this world as broken and defend your beliefs about it, all you're doing is perpetuating this negative reality in your life. This world is not broken in any way. It is the perfect environment for a creator to look for diversity and choose his or her preferences. Without diversity, there would be no contrast. And without contrast, there would be no avenue to launch new desires. And without desires, there would be no forward movement of life. Your desires create the expansion of physical reality that you call this world. But it's not in the bid to fix anything, but just for the joy of the journey. So stop looking at this world as something to be fixed and start looking at it as an avenue which allows you to come up with preferences and desires. A contrasting situation in your life may feel negative to the mind, and this causes the mind to desire a better reality. Once the desire is launched, the movement towards this new reality starts automatically because each desire has the power to pull a physical reality onto itself. This movement is the pull of life which everyone feels within, but few let go into it. A lot of people are stuck in the contrasting situation that caused the desire because they fail to let go of focusing on it. They keep giving attention to the negativity in their situation without letting go into the pool of life that is calling them to a newer reality which does not have this negativity. Sure, the new reality will have a new contrast, but that's the juice of living this physical life. You now get to launch new desires and align with them. Every reality will have contrast which will cause new preferences. No matter what life situation you're in, it's bound to have some contrast. There's no such thing as a perfect life situation because life is constantly on the move and everything is prone to change. Nothing is static. Imagine what it would feel like if somehow you ended up in a static life situation which never changed. No matter how good it is, you'll soon get bored of it and will want to change it in some way. Change is the juice of physical life. It's the joy and entertainment of having this physical experience. When you let go holding on to a negative situation, it can change much easily because life is constantly moving towards the new expansion. Once the contrast helps you come up with new preferences or desires, your job is to let go of focusing on the contrast. By arguing for it, defending it, complaining about it, you're just keeping your focus constantly on the contrast that created the new desire. As long as you're so strongly focused on the contrast, it's, in, it's not possible for you to align with the pull of life that's calling you towards the new desire or new reality. So stop arguing for your limitations and start aligning with your desires. You don't have to make any effort other than to stop focusing on the negatives in your present reality.